Cotton is in the pepper family. It's the cousin of black pepper they use on the table, like any pepper that you can think of. And so they're in the same family. And uh, it's a big green plant. It grows a lot in the South Pacific. It grows all over Hawaii. It grows all over Africa. It has a very unique relaxing effect on the body. Um, and in fact, you know you've got good kava if your mouth starts to go numb when you're drinking it. It has a local anesthetic um, effect as well. It's something you can have after your work when you want to unwind, in the evening when you're ready to relax and end your day, or at any time when you're just feeling a little bit stressed out, you want to calm down a little bit, and ease the nerves a bit, and uh, come back into balance. This is extra fine grind kava root from the Hamakua Coast in Hawaii. It's about three to four years old and we are gonna make a kava drink out of it. As you can see, it's ground up real fine. It's been consumed for almost 3,000 years in Melanesia and Polynesia. The benefits range anything from muscle relaxation to relax the body, to really calm the nerves. This is called Piper Metisticum. Comes from the Greek metustikos, which means uh, intoxicating. So it's the intoxicating pepper. It's the same family as the black pepper that we are all uh, using, but it's well known for its inebriating properties. So today we're going to make kava traditional style with just pure water and some kava in a strainer bag. What you do is you take the water and you put it on the strainer bag and get it nice and wet. As you can see, the color of the water is really light but when you get the bag in and then you squeeze it, you can see the color of the water changes. So you're extracting the kava into the liquid itself. It takes about two to five minutes to just squeeze the kava and extract it into the water. This is a fantastic way to unwind and it has a very powerful effect. Now, it's, it's not addictive so it's, and it's not psychoactive. It's nothing like marijuana. It's not going to give you a drunk like alcohol. But it is very relaxing. It's very noticeable that it's, it's a local anesthetic. You will feel your mouth go numb when you're drinking it. And you will feel a relaxing effect. But it's nothing that you're going to wake up the next day if you drink it before you go to bed. And you're going to crave kava. It's not like that at all. So that, that's very nice. It's just something that you can use it when you need it. When you don't need it, don't use it. And I personally believe that kava should not be boiled and very hot water should not come into contact with it. Cold extractions, I think, are much better. And they're tastier. This is a fully grown plant. As you can see, it's, it's a little taller than me. There are two parts to the kava plant that are used for traditional ceremonies and drinking and all kinds of products. The corn, which is a central stalk, part of the rootstock system here, and of course the lateral roots which run along the ground, parallel to the ground almost. It, other than that, it is so relaxing. And I, I tell a lot of people who've never tried it, who come from the mainland and they're all, you know, they're all wound up and they're trying to relax. And I tell them, have some kava and it'll bring you on Hawaiian time.